Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about product rule of exponents. So I will take this opportunity to discuss more about this laws of exponents, which is the product rule. Pero pwede nyo rin tignan, you can visit our previously uploaded video about the laws of exponents and we will put it here. You can click the link there. And then if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating mga latest uploads. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. Let's do this topic. So, one of the laws of exponents na meron tayo is yung tinatawag nating product rule of exponents. We have here the given illustration that will simplify what is the meaning or how to use this product rule. Let's say for example, we have the given x raised to m and x raised to n. In applying the product rule, simply check whether the bases are the same. And then if the bases are the same, all you need to do is to copy the base, x, and then simply add the exponents. That's why we have here x raised to m plus n. Now, for you to understand more about this rule or law of exponent, I have here different examples for you to practice so let's have example number one we have the given x raised to the fourth power times x raised to the fifth power as you can see yung base nila or the bases are the same so all you need to do is to copy the base which is x and then add the exponents 4 plus 5 meaning Simplifying your exponents, it will give you x raised to the ninth power. This is the answer for item number one. As simple as that. Applying the product rule of exponents. Now let's move on with item number two. In item number two, we have five times five squared. As you can see, the bases are whole numbers. So since they are the same, all you need to do is copy your base, which is 5, copy your base, which is 5, and then add exponents of those bases. Kung mapansin nyo, we have here an invisible 1, so we can have 5 raised to 1 plus 2. And then simplify your exponent, that will give you 5 raised to 3. And then we know that 5 raised to 3 is simply 5 times 5 times 5 therefore the correct answer is simply 125 this is the correct answer for item number 2 applying the product rule of exponents now let's move on with item number 3 for item number 3 we have the given expression 2x raised to 7 times negative 3 x raised to the fourth power applying the product rule of exponent first you need to multiply 2 and negative 3 and right after that multiply mo rin yung, yung variables you have x raised to 7 times x raised to the fourth power so simplifying your coefficients 2 times negative 3, it will give you negative 6. And then for the variables, since the bases are the same, copy your variable x, and then add exponents 7 plus 4. And it will give you the answer of negative 6 x raised to 11. This is the correct answer for item number 3. Now, let's move on with item number 4. We have your three bases. y raised to the fourth power, times y, times y raised to 6. Since wala tayong nakikita ritong exponent, this one is 1. So adding the exponents by copying your base, 4 plus 1 plus 6. Again, since the bases are the same, copy your base y, and then add 4 plus 1 plus 6. It will give you y raised to the 11th power. 
this is the correct answer for item number four. Now let's move on with item number five and number num item number six, which is more complicated than one to four examples. So we have here the expression negative three x raised to the fifth power y and then times two x raised to the th third power y raised to six. So applying the product rule, can multiply first negative 3 and 2 and then for the variable you have x raised to 5 and then for the other variable x times x raised to 3 for the variable y y raised to 1 you have here 1 as the exponent times y raised to 6 Multiplying these numbers, this will give you negative 6. And then for the variable x, copy your x. Since they are the same, you have 5 plus 3. Now for the variable y, copy your variable y. y raised to 1 plus 6. And we need to simplify this, these exponents. So you can have negative 6, x raised to the 8th power, and y raised to the seventh power. This is the correct answer for item number five. Now, for the final answer, we have for the final example, rather, we have a squared b to the seventh power, a b raised to the eighth power. So we don't have any coefficients aside from one. So we can copy a squared times a times b raised to 7 times b raised to 8 copying your base a and then add exponents 2 plus 1 and then for the b 7 plus 8 simplifying the exponents it will give you a raised to 3 b raised to 15 so that's all for the application of the product rule of exponents. I hope you learned something from these examples on how to apply the product rule. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating mga latest uploads. Again, I am Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!